الرحمن الرحيم أطيع الله أطيع رسوله أولو الأمر منكم always a reminder for myself and abduk rajis da'ifu miskinu zalimu jahad but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence alhamdulillah we are in this holy month guided by Surat al-Kahf <coughs> seems the year goes by faster and faster each time seems like we talked about this like a, a month ago subhanallah <coughs> life is moving very fast now we talked about Ashab al-Kahf and now let's go to Surat al-Kahf verse 28 inshaAllah. So we recite that Shaykh Shahid. That's Shahid. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Wasbir nafsaka ma'al ladheena yad'oona rabbahum bil ghadati wal aishiyyi yuridoona wajhahu wala ta'du aynaka anhum turidu zeenat al hayatid dunya wala tuti' man aghfalna qalbahu an dhikrina wattaba' hawahu wa kana amruhu furuta sadaqallahu al-aliyyul azim sadaqallahu al-azim wa barakatuh rasulul kareem wa habibul azim alhamdulillah that the beginning of ashab al-kaf is our Ada that do you want to be from this reality of leaving the oppression of dunya and coming to your Lord's service and entering the Divinely Cave. The alhamdulillah that they keep teaching for us is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad the cave of refuge, the cave of blessings. The, the cave of all realities that we enter into that refuge, the reality of A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem so that Allah can dress us with Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. And if we're going to be from those, we talked the week before about the character, the mannerisms, testing, patience. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And that at least become better than a dog, that Allah is going to test the dog. Why? to see if it's wild. If it's wild it's going to bite its master and nothing worse than uh, your dog biting you and attacking you. So means that Allah is giving to us that you have to have good manners. That's all that matters in this reality to enter into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad It's not the knowledge that you know, it's not the, the, the thing, the degrees that you think you have achieved. But it's the good manners, for the knowledge that people have it's nothing. It's not even a knowledge in Allah's oceans of realities and knowledges. Allah can teach whom He wants. It's aqullah wa alimukumullah. So the criteria can't be knowledge, the criteria for entering this reality is going to be the khuluq and the character. It's a good character that fragrances us, dresses us gives us barakah and blessings and that the external people don't see it. Because they look at the jama'ah and they say, what's this? 
because they're looking for scholarly people, formal footnotes on everything. Somebody visit from out of town said they love the fact that we don't talk in footnotes because it's, it's not an academia where we're trying to prove. This is from heart transmissions. So the external people look and say, what's this, this can't be nothing. And they don't put an emphasis on the khuluq and character. And Allah is now describing for us by Holy Qur'an is describing and teaching to us from the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad it's all about character. And once we have the character we're running to Prophet not with knowledge why you're not going to impress Sayyidina Muhammad the only thing that going to impress Prophet is khuluq, adabana rabbi fa asan fi tahdeeb Allah has sent me to perfect the character and the mannerisms of people. And as soon as we accept that and don't care that the external people don't see that nor do they appreciate that. They don't ever come and think that, oh these were such a well-mannered group of smiley people, polite people, gentle people. They want to know, how come your qirat not exactly, how come you don't recite like this, how come you pray at a speed like this, how come it's… The, oh they find every type of error based on their material eyes. So the paths are very different. Now. If we accepted that reality because the Qur'an is going to now take us deep on this journey like a magnet, the Qur'an will guide us into what Allah wants. Not me, you or anyone, Allah now give for us. The holy verse that Shahid recited, Surah Al-Kahf verse 28 and uh, keep thy soul content with those who call upon their Lord morning and evening. This is a <clears throat> isharat from Allah to Sayyidina Muhammad and for us to understand now the immensity of the dress of this path. Seeking His face are these people. So Allah is asking for Prophet's nazar that be content on this people of dhikrullah and that their character is only the seeking of Allah's Divinely face. So means now in our formula that, that the nazar of Prophet is upon what? By command of Allah the people of dhikr whom seek Allah's face. So anyone seeking Allah's face is now granted the guarantee of the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad So when these people are… external people are talking about shirk and this and this, they're ridiculous in their understanding, Allah is granting the command. This is a command from Allah to the reality and the soul of Prophet that keep your soul content morning and evening seeking with those who call upon Allah morning and night seeking His holy face. And let not your eyes pass beyond them. Like last year we said, this is an immense gift. This holy verse is for us to understand, let not your eyes pass them. So if they're sincere, they're sitting to do zikr, they're asking for the face of Allah who would be asking for the face of Allah Must be somebody in tafakkur, otherwise that rules out 99.99% of all people. Who's seeking the face of Allah Wajahu. So they must be the people of tafakkur that Allah is addressing. Don't pass your holy eyes passing them. And 
Don't be distracted by the people of pomp and glitter of this life, nor obey those whose hearts we have permitted to neglect our remembrance of Allah Means then the very fancy ones, the special ones, the ones whom everyone thinks, oh they have so much, Allah is ordering Prophet in the world of souls and light, don't even look at them. They're like a trash. Your nazar has a light and a power and a reality, there's no need to put your light upon that. It's a falsehood that these people of pomp and, and arrogance, it's a falsehood why the nazar of Prophet to be wasted upon that reality. And don't listen to them for the people whom we have permitted their heart to be neglectful of dhikrullah and Allah says, dhikrullah. So when the people who say, why we have to make dhikr? Well then you're in that category that Allah is describing. If you're not making dhikr, because now read the sentence in a different way. If you're about the pomp of this life and the glitter and the glamour of this life, and you're not somebody making dhikrullah, then you're not having the nazar of Allah and His Rasul by this holy eye. Because now this is the criteria of the cave, that if you want to be from Ashab al-Kaf and enter into the heart of Prophet we're not talking about outside. Outside the sun shines on everyone, God's mercy and grace. But we said, you want to be from khawas, you want to enter into the school of the elite, you have to enter into the ocean, you're not walking on the sand anymore. The one who walks on the sand, he collects the shells, the one whom dives within the ocean receives the pearls. There's a great difference between the pearl and what the ocean spit out onto the shore. Means to enter into the oceans of Allah's rahmah and mercy, entering into the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad Allah then giving us the criteria. That if you want to enter the heart, you want to enter the nazar of Prophet because everyone's asking that how to receive the nazar of Prophet Allah is giving us the dialogue, ancient dialogue between Allah's command and the reality dressing the soul of Prophet that don't let your nazar and your holy vision pass the people of dhikrullah whom with their sincerity are asking for the Divinely Face. So that's the guarantee for the believers. And don't be of those whom they left the remembrance of Allah and they followed their own desires and whose case has gone beyond all bounds, amru furutan means they left every command of Allah when they leave the dhikr of Allah they leave every command from Allah So then why then Prophet to direct that gaze and that Divinely light? Because now we're talking about the khawas and the elite within the heart of Prophet This is the Divinely grace of Allah this becomes the criteria of entering into this reality. So that after this holy month we understand the whole process of the month and the year, the why in the 11 months, why is He always talking about Prophet why are we always talking about the ishq and the muhabbat and good character? Because we're trying to reach the criteria in which Allah granting us the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad So means that nazar is coming based on this criteria of people. All the other actions that people do, 
Allah has a different reward. But for the reward of the companions of the heart means to be a companion within the heart of Prophet And it's not the pomp and glitter, it's not all the fancy, it's not all the, the, the pictures they're showing now on social media. That all, all those fancy people they're not getting the nazar of Prophet because Allah's command is don't even look with your Divinely eyes in that direction upon them because your eyes are a grace and a mercy. But let not your eyes pass the people whom they sit in the remembrance of Allah asking for wajikil kareem, waja Allah. And that's why and then in other talks they begin to describe that the shaykhs of that reality they feed you and they feed you for the sake of that Divinely face, the audience of that face. So it means they have a charity so that people give and donate, participate. Why? So that they can feed and do their khidmat. They can give water and food and services and why they give it? So they can have their audience with that Divinely face. So the shaykh of that reality is bringing his students into that reality. For if he doesn't feed anyone because Allah later would describe these men whom they are ask nothing from you except the Divinely face and they feed you from what Allah has provided for them. So it's like the beads now they come together because Allah is now giving the criteria that uh, don't let the nazar of Prophet pass those whom they th- sit for dhikrullah and that they want the Divinely face. And as a result those whom are in the Divinely face they feed you and they want nothing from you. They don't need a praise from you for the knowledges and the realities they give or the people that they go out and help. They're doing it to remain within the nazar of that holy face. Means that that becomes the source of power, grace and every Divine blessing upon their reality. And as a result they go back out upon this earth to bring people back into the cave. So that's why this process is not easy. It's not that we all enter in and become from Ashab al-Kaf but everybody has an opportunity to pass the state of a dog. That's the, the, the humble reality that when your character can't improve and your anger can't be diminished, your, your bad character, bad gossiping, bad slandering, all, all of these characteristics we have to know that it is still not passing the degree that a dog passed. So one was a sign of humility that, oh, alhamdulillah we can all get in. But then Allah said, at least then be better than the station of that dog. That through loyalty and good character and lots of testing <coughs> we can show ourselves worthy of entering into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that becomes our life. So when people say, why are we tested, why is this, all these why questions, why not? If you don't know the reward you absolutely don't even know why you're on the path, that's the funny part. The, quiet, the why questions seem to give us the understanding that you don't even know what you're on a path to. If you knew that you're on a path to be with Sayyidina Muhammad to be under the holy nazar of Prophet why not take the abuse, why not take the difficulty, why not take the bad character of people? Why not? If the reward is so beatific why would you not take it if you wanted to achieve? 
Look for dunya how much people suffer. They have all of their shows and talks though, I did so many things, I walked without shoes for years to make something in my dunya. For dunya, what about for all of eternity? So that's why we do what we do, that's why the servants are tested, that's why the servants are taught to be patient. Not to be content with our own badness but for the sake of my love for Sayyidina Muhammad Ya Rabbi grant me strength to overcome this. Because some people may think their flaws are okay for them and this was not about you, this was not about me because I said that I don't exist. But this was about gaining the access to the reality of Prophet to be worthy of entering into the cave, to be worthy of serving the reality of the cave. Because now the cave represents the Divinely Kingdom because every cave opens up into a kingdom, into a reality. <laughs> Means the entryway for the Divinely Kingdom we call a cave, qar, there's like a door into a a dimension and Allah is asking from us this protocol, if you want to be in the company of Allah Allah is with Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin and these are the best of those to accompany and their, their entry is the good manners and the good deeds, the good actions and the good thoughts. We do it to be amongst them, not so that I become content with my own bad character, say, who does it really harm, it doesn't really matter. It matters because we won't gain access into their company and we won't gain access into those realities and that becomes a, a destiny for all of eternity that is our greatest success. The one who, who achieves and succeeds in entering into the presence of Nabiyeen, Siddiqeen, Shuhadahi wa Salihin means entered into the presence of Allah Almighty for all of eternity. How could anyone even perceive what that e even means? And Allah describing then those types of people whether they achieved it or they're on a path of achieving it, they never left the dhikrullah. So when you come across people say, oh, we don't make dhikr, mm, okay that's the 99% that forgot and shaitan fooled them from the remembrance of Allah And that becomes important is my life is to do my dhikr, to do my salawats, to do my awrat, to attend the majlis of dhikrullah because I'm asking to be from paradise people. At least I must be sitting in a paradise circle. So where are all the people who are asking for paradise? Where well, they're not sitting in a paradise circle but they sit in other circles that are not from paradise nor have anything to do with paradise. So alhamdulillah Allah gives us all of this in Qur'an. So when people say, oh where does it say all of this in Qur'an but they have eyes and they don't see and they have ears and they don't hear. And this is the difference of Allah's oceans of guidance and rahmah and mercy. Those whom Allah guides opens their ears because then now they can hear the reality, opens their eyes and the eyes of their heart in which they can begin to see and make sense of the reality. And that's a truly big gift from Allah is the gift of guidance. We pray that Allah dress and bless us in this holy month. This is the month of Alimul Hakim, the all-knowing and all-wise that the, every energy and faiz that come in opening the servant's heart for ancient knowledges and wisdom. Knowledge without wisdom is an imbalance. Knowledge without wisdom hurts people because they say things without a hikmah. Ilma laduni wa hikmati bi salihin is the completeness of the character. 
When Allah loves the servant, He grants them Divinely knowledges. When He loves the servant, He grants them the, the hikmah and the wisdom of how to use it and not abuse it. So that its source of wisdom is a source of enlightenment and like a honey, a Divinely honey to bring people to the Divinely Presence, right? Could be different because with every hikmah you could sit and begin to curse everybody, everybody in the audience, do you know hikmah of this, the hikmah of this, hikmah of this or the wisdom of this knowledge and make everybody feel that they're absolutely nothing, they're not going to achieve anything and to give up all hope. So it means knowledge is like a blade, if not done like a fine surgeon it cuts the cancer out but leaves the person intact. If they don't have a hikmah and wisdom in the uloom that Allah gave to them, it come like a butter knife cutting everything, hurting everything, destroying everything. So we pray that Allah grant us the two wings of ilm al laduni wa hikmati bi salihin in which the uloom and the knowledges that come have a benefit for ourselves and for the community, bring them a sense of hope and love of Sayyidina Muhammad love of divi Divinely Presence, a love in which encourages them into the service of the Divinely Presence. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaman al mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen, bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.